Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very quick and easy. Um, as you guys can see, I left the front of my hair because I will put, be putting on a wig in the back of the hair where we have the cornrows. And I will show you guys how I blend in my hair into the wig to make it look super natural and flawless. Okay, so I started off by putting on my wig cap and now I'm gonna go ahead and untwist my natural hair so I can flat iron it and um, we will get started with the actual hairstyle. So now what I'm gonna do is carefully comb out my natural hair and go ahead and flat iron it with a very, very low heat flat iron. And my heat was up to 250, not more than 300 degrees because I was not trying to fry my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron the hair and as you guys can see, I did not use heat protectors but I highly recommend that you use heat protectors regardless of the hair texture you have whether you have good hair or bad hair like mine I recommend you use heat protectors because you do not want to burn out or fry your hair so I'm gonna go ahead and um, flat iron the hair and then twist it to the side and secure it until I'm ready to do the hairstyle or I'm ready to put on my wig So now I'll do the same thing that I did on the right side to the left side of the hair, which is just flat ironing it, um, brushing it, combing it, and then, you know, twisting it to secure it until I'm ready for the hairstyle. Now that I'm done with my leave out, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how the hair comes. And, um... It comes with two long combs, one in the front and the other one in the back. And also the cap is super duper airy. It also comes with an elastic band in the back of the hair. It's adjustable so you can literally move it around and you know tighten it to secure your head very well. I feel like the cap of the hair is very stretchy. Like the whole cap is stretchy so it hugs your head so well that you do not need to secure it with bobby pins or anything. You don't need to put extra elastic bands as well. So once you put in the combs in the front and in the back, you are absolutely fine. You will not have to worry about the hair falling off or, you know, you don't have to worry about it um, coming off in public or embarrassing you. <laughs> so now I will go ahead and untwist my leave out. And I will show you guys what I do to blend it in so perfectly with the hair. This hair is already kinky looking just like my natural hair. So what I usually do is I brush it multiple times. I do not use comb or anything because the hair comes with a curl part in that I wasn't trying to get rid of. So I just brush it, brush my natural hair, my edges and everything with a very very soft bristle hair brush I continually to brush it until it looks like it's blended in and then I create an illusional part so you know my hair being kinky and the hair also being kinky you do not really need a perfect part because it will not make sense to have like a perfect part as if you have a Brazilian hair on or anything so what I just do is I create an illusional part um, I just put my hand through the side and then I kind of like create a part and then I move you know one side of the hair down to my right and then the other side of my hair to the left so I went ahead and um, secured the side that has less hair with a bobby pin because I was trying to create a side part and I wanted to create like a style that looks more chic so I just went ahead and you know moved more hair to one side which is the right side and then I I had less hair on the left side so now I'm using my edge booster to lay my edges it creates a very clean look to the hair some people don't like to lay their edges which is fine it's completely up to you but I always love my hair to look clean especially on my edges side because I have really really nappy kinky hair so I do not want to you know leave my naps um curled up and coiled and looking really really unclean so i always use my edge booster and lay my edges right after i put on the wig So now that my edges are tidy and clean looking, I will go ahead and show you guys how I style this hair. 
The style is already done, but what I usually do is I use my hand to finger comb it. I kind of like use my finger to fix the curls that are not looking right. And then I also grab a few hairs in the front and then wrap it around because I kind of want to get the hair out of my face. So I wrap it around um, the front of the hair. And as you guys can see, I don't really know how to explain how I go about this, but I grab a little bit of the hair and then I pull my finger through and then I wrap it around to get the hair out of my face okay and after I do that I just literally use my hand to finger comb it my hand to tease the curls like to wrap around the curls to make sure that the curls are looking good and then that is the end of it you get like a really really pretty look um, you can literally fool people and make them believe that this is your natural hair um, I mean nobody's to ask you whether that's your hair or not but if anybody asks that you want to lie to them you can literally fool people and tell them that that is your natural hair and they will absolutely believe it because it blends so well especially if you have natural hair and your hair is like kinky um, after you flat iron it it will blend so well with the hair so I don't know if I told you guys earlier but I also purchased a shorter version of this exact same hair from the sensational collection and I will be showing you guys how I style that as well but before I show you guys that, I'm going to go ahead and style this hair in a different look. Just like how I style it when I'm going to a different, um, a special occasion or like a wedding. I usually style it differently even though it's a side part. But I create a really, really more chic look. And I'm going to show you guys how I go about that. So when I'm going to a wedding or when I'm going to a dinner date or like when I'm going to a special occasion in general, I usually create a more chic look by moving a lot more of the hair to one side and very, very much less hair on the other side of the hair. And then I move the bobby pin more towards the back of my head to, you know, make that place even lay down a lot more to lay down even flatter and um it makes the hair look more chic it makes the hair looks more it makes you look more dressier because you have like a, a really really bouncy hair on one side and you know a flat looking um chic type um clean look on the other side of the hair so yeah that's what i do i play the bobby pin more towards the back i use my hand to finger comb the curls and make it look more bouncier on one side and that is the look i absolutely love this look i'm not gonna lie to you guys this is like my go-to whenever i'm going to like a special occasion and i put this hair on i use this hair um i usually like create this hairstyle and it just makes my outfit and the whole look very very classy and couture and you know like natural hair looking but still clean and very very luxurious I must say <laughs> yeah so yeah that's how I create like a more chic look when I'm going to a special occasion and see um, this hair is a little bit old like I've had it for seven months now so the curls are not looking so perfect but I love it anyway. I've been rocking it regardless. But I just wanted to throw that out there that I've had this hair for quite a while. That's why the curl is not looking that perfect. But the top of the hair that I have right now looks a little puffy. Sometimes I don't want the top of the hair to be poofed up like that. So I always go ahead and place a pin at the top to kind of like lay the top down a little bit to push even more hair to the side of my head. So I go ahead and place a bobby pin like so, and then it kind of like uh, make the top part of the hair lay down more so that more hair is pushed towards the side of my hair. Let me know what you guys think about this look. I'm gonna go ahead and try on the shorter version of this wig as on as well. And um, I really, really want to know you guys' opinion on this look, these looks. Let me know how I did. Um, if you guys want to see more hairstyles like this, also let me know. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was really, really feeling myself. Like I'm really, really loving this hair and the curl pattern and everything about the texture, everything about how much it blends in so well with my natural hair. It's just absolutely stunning. 
um i was also jamming to music so okay i don't look i know i look ridiculous but i'm not crazy okay <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the second um wig which is the exact same style exact same texture exact same construction but the only difference is that one is a lot shorter i think that other wig is probably 12 or 14 inches and this one I would guess is 18 or 20 to 24 inches But this one the shorter one is much shorter So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how that one looks as well The inside looks exact same as the other one. It has two combs one in the front and one in the back It also has airy cup just like the other one and I really really like that about this hair because you know in the summertime you do not want to be walking around and having like a very sweaty um, scalp so I love the fact that it's very airy so I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my hair as well I'm just gonna secure the comb in my hair so I don't embarrass myself by you know getting it to fall off while I'm outside so I make sure I always put the combs through my hair and now I'm gonna put my hair over the hair or over the wig and then I will try my best to create an illusional part like the other one that I did and then I will go ahead and use like a very very soft bristle brush to blend my natural hair and with the hair so that is exactly how I blend it in I kind of like hold it up and then brush my hair and then I kind of like make sure that it's blended in with the hair it creates like an amazing amazing illusion you cannot even tell that this is not my hair it literally blends in so well with my natural hair it's crazy i just love the texture and i love how it blends in so well with my natural hair so i went ahead and placed two bobby pins on the side just like how i did in the other video or uh, no, not in the other video <laughs> but with the other wig um, I placed two bobby pins on the side to make that side lay even flatter and then the other side which is my right side to be more poofier and um, the curl part and is more bouncier on that side. So that is the final result. I really really love this look. I just love how it just looks on me. Um, personally I love the longer one more than the shorter one let me know what you guys think let me know what your thoughts are um if you're like going to work or running errands or doing something like casually i would i usually go with a shorter one and whenever i'm going out to church to a special occasion i rock the longer one you don't necessarily have to get both if you want people to think that that is your hair you don't want to confuse them by you know having long hair today and the short hair tomorrow so you can just purchase one and then you rock it and i know that you will love it so i've had this hair for like a year and the curl pattern still looks amazing the curl pattern is still intact even though it's a little rough at some parts it still looks amazing so i absolutely think this hair is super stunning and i'm gonna be rocking this for a long time and i'm sure will repurchase whenever um i mess this one up so comment down below if you want more videos like these also um let me know what your thoughts are leave a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe also share with your friends and i I love you so much for watching and for my returning subscribers thanks once again all right bye